Hi, my name is David, and I work on the Galileo curriculum team. I'm here today with your project challenge, Popcorn Catapult. Your goal is to build a catapult that can launch a piece of popcorn to your building partner, and to be collaborative by lending each other a hand during the building process. The materials you'll need are some kitchen spoons, some tape, and some popcorn, or other bite-sized food. The catapult has three primary parts. One, the lever arm, two, the fulcrum, and three, the hinge. Gather your materials and find an open spot on the floor to work. So we need to find a spoon that will be our lever arm. That's what actually throws the popcorn. It needs to be able to hold the popcorn, and it also needs to not roll back and forth when it's sitting on top of another spoon. So avoid spoons that have a rounded handle. This black plastic spoon seems to be tipping nicely on top of this wooden spoon. So I'm gonna use the black spoon as my lever arm and the wooden spoon as my fulcrum. Try the lever arm spoon in several different locations on the fulcrum and find the position where the popcorn launches the highest up in the air. You'll probably notice that the spoons slide around on top of each other. And it's hard to keep the lever arm spoon in the position where it launches the best. So to fix that, we're gonna connect the two spoons with tape. With the lever arm spoon in the position that you want it, lay a strip of tape across the lever spoon and onto the fulcrum spoon. And add two more layers of tape to make this connection secure. Then wrap tape tightly around the fulcrum spoon on either side of the lever spoon. Now test the launcher by pushing on it vigorously. We want it to break now, not later. And if it does break, just add another layer or two of tape where it broke. Just like how we didn't want the spoons moving around, we also don't want the whole launcher moving around. And you'll notice if you hit the launcher, it tends to move around. So the next thing to do is make a hinge between the launcher and the floor. Do this by laying a piece of tape over the fulcrum spoon and then onto the floor on both sides of the lever spoon. Then lay another piece of tape across these two pieces of tape to hold them down. Then test the lever vigorously. We want it to break now, not later. You could choose to build the catapult on your own, but if you work with somebody else, one person can be the taper and one person can hold the objects as you're taping. This can make the work go more quickly and make for a stronger catapult. Once the catapult is ready to use, one person can launch and the other can try to catch the popcorn in a bowl or a cup or maybe even their mouth. You can also play a game where you see how many pieces of popcorn you can catch in a row or invent your own game. That's it for Popcorn Catapult. If you built a catapult, we'd love to see a video of you and your partner launching and catching popcorn. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. still hungry.